Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to look at how you can export an ABA file from zero when running payroll. Now, ABA files, I believe it stands for Australian Banking Association. It's a common file format that has been used for many years and it is uh, compatible across all the banking platforms. So no matter what bank you're with, you can use an ABA file to import your payroll data. So what we're doing in this one is we're gonna go to a payroll that has already been posted. So we're in the demo company here, as always. So we're gonna to go to pay employees. Now the wonderful thing about ABA files is, and the reason that I always use them if I can, um, is one, it's gonna save you a whole bunch of time, especially the more employees you have that you're paying, this will automate a lot of it. So once your payroll has been posted in zero, you can export your data out and then instead of having to set up all these individual payments to all your staff, you can just run your ABA file into your banking login and you can pretty much bring it all in, all the zero data through automatically. That's the first thing. It saves a lot of time when you have multiple employees. The second reason why it's always worth doing in most cases is that it pretty much eliminates the risk of user error down to nil. If you're in your banking and you're setting up payments to people, um, you might accidentally put it to the wrong bank account. You might accidentally put in the wrong dollar amount. Um, I mean, I guess if you're, um, you've only got a couple of staff and they get paid the same every week, then it's the risk is lower. But if you maybe got some casual staff and the, the payments are changing week to week, uh, it's very much worthwhile running an ABA file because when you run an ABA file, it is pretty much impossible to pay the wrong person to the wrong bank account. It is also pretty much impossible to pay the wrong dollar amount. So it's very much worth doing to uh, reduce your risk of error down to nil, but to also save you a lot of time. So let's have a look at how it goes. We're gonna go down to the fortnightly calendar here. And we've got three people on our payroll. So the payroll's been posted. We're happy with everything. Now we're gonna pay them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go pay run options, download ABA. And then here you can see it down the bottom. And how it will normally do it is it will give you the file name as the date backwards. So we've got the year 2021, the month 08, which is August, and the day the 1st of August, which is today. So that's how you know which file it is. It's always the date backwards. So then we go over into banking. Now in this example, I'm running through NAB Connect, which is the business banking for NAB. Um, but it, like I said earlier, all the banking platforms, no matter which bank you're with, should support your ABA file. Um, definitely the four majors, without a doubt. So it'll be a little bit different with ANZ and Commonwealth and so forth, but it'll be pretty much, just the menu navigation might be a little bit different, but it, it will be essentially the same. So we'll go payments. And we're gonna go upload, upload a payment file. Payment type, it's a payroll payment. And then we're gonna choose our file. And we know that the file name is the date backwards. There it is, 2021 -08 This one down the bottom here. And for the reference, we're just gonna go payroll. Uh, it's ending the 31st of July. So I'm just gonna go 3107. Payroll, 31st of July. We'll upload that. There 
The file has passed validation. Click view payment to continue. So I can close this now. Now, if we go back to our payroll, we can see the total amount was for 4862.25, the net payment. And we can check here, 4862.25, value date the 1st of the 8th, we can change that. And we can see down the bottom, we've got James LeBron. He's getting paid two amounts because if we went back and had a look in his banking file, he is splitting out his payment into two bank accounts. And 1037, so that is, let's have a look and see what that adds up to. Twelve ninety six twenty five. So James LeBron twelve ninety six twenty five, and what it's done is put the first two fifty nine twenty five into this savings account and the balance into this other account. If we look at O Gray eighteen O two eighteen O two to O Gray, and if we look at Sally Martin seventeen sixty four net pay. 1764 for a total amount of 4862.25. So that's all automatic. If we had a bunch of employees here, we see from this example that three employees came through within a couple of clicks of the button without having to set everything up manually and risk putting in the wrong dollar amounts and paying to the wrong bank accounts and to the wrong people and so forth. So ABA files are very good in that respect. Now up here, we'll see the status has failed. This is because I'm using uh, the ABA from the demo company on a real bank account, so it's not set up that way. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel out of this payment because obviously I don't want to send off money to these fictitious bank accounts. But that is pretty much it, guys. So when you're running multiple employees and you want to save time and you want to ensure your accuracy, the ABA file is a definite must-do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. If you've got any questions, hit me up. If you want to book in a training session, hit me up. We've got our web address in the description below. We can organize a tailored training session to whatever problems you're having at your workplace as far as um, what parts of zero you want to brush up on or you want to improve on we can come out and give you a hand to get things into a position of where you want them but that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one